Well, hello and welcome to Lager Grania and Pioneer Map. This is episode 29. In this episode, just doing a bit of mulching to start off with. We're going to plant some barley in the in the two fields next to the yard. We are also going to plant some wheat in the big field. And we'll roll this field at least. We'll also be finally putting in our spinnery and that will be done towards the end of this video. So first of all we'll just finish off doing the mulching of this field. This is of course where the wheat was that was harvested I think in the last episode or the episode before. Put that onto a bit of a time lapse and we'll see you once that is done. Well, we'll come back. Just about finished. Got this last little strip to do. Uh, once we've done that, we'll go and pick up the cedar. I think we'll be planting barley, as I said, in this field. Just a bit of crop rotation. Decided to plant barley and wheat again this season, but just swap the fields. Just to keep, uh, or just to ensure that we've got enough raw material for the for the mill and for the bakery. I think it's just a, a little slip so they're just right at the top here. Get that done quickly. Yeah so pretty exciting to get a, to be able to get the spinnery in. Um, I was going to delay a little while but I thought we've got quite a bit of cotton. Uh, we'll just put that cotton into the mill in once get it going and then it shouldn't be very long after they've finished processing that that the cotton field will be ready and we'll be able to harvest that and put that in as well. Right, it's got the plant out, let's get that opened up and make sure yeah we've got barley on the go. Let's get that done and we'll get get it started and then put that onto a time lapse as well. We're looking good, yeah, no problem. Fertilizer and seed going in, fantastic. Well, we'll see you once this is complete.
Well, welcome back. Just about finished this. Once again, I think we've got a little slither at the top. We'll get that planted up. And then we'll get on to the big field. I think I should start thinking about giving these fields names. Just so that we know which fields we're going to be working in. It's quite easy for me to know where I'm going, but it's uh, becoming a little bit more difficult to verbalize and to communicate exactly which field I'm thinking and talking about if I'm not actually on the field. So I'll think about that over the next episode or so and and I think we'll give our field some names as well. Right, so we're going into the big field now. We had barley planted the other last time so this time round we'll plant uh, we'll plant wheat. So we'll get a big wheat field going here. I've decided not to mulch this field. Just interesting to see what the difference is in terms of yields. Mulching does take a long time. So I thought I'd just give it a go and see if it makes a material difference or not. Given that we have very big fields here, so right. It's getting going. Just make sure that we, yeah, we've got the wheat in the car. And we'll put that onto a bit of a time lapse as well. And we'll see you once that's done. Well, that's all done. Well, just about all done. So we'll just get this onto a worker. And then I think we'll go and uh, start the rolling of the bottom field, or the home field, or field number one, or whatever I'm going to call it. <laughs> I'm not quite sure yet. We could call this field number one. I don't know. It just seems so so unimaginative just to give them numbers, but that might be the easiest. In any event, we'll get the roller going and we'll put that onto a worker. And then while that's going, I think we'll go and start putting in the spinnery. Everything set up. Yeah, no problem. Off we go. I do like this roller. I think I might have mentioned that before. It's not as wide as some of the others, but I just feel it's much more controllable. Alright, so when we do the spinnery, I'm going to do it on a time lapse. It took quite a while to get it done. And once again, I'm not going to be leveling the ground first of all. I'll try and smooth things out as best as possible once it's in, just to keep in keeping with what we've been doing with all the others. The only actual landscaping and flattening of the land that I did was for the, for the cattle uh, field, for the dairy field. And it was very, very expensive. And of course, because of the hilly terrain, it took quite a long time. 
So I'll just keep it nice and rustic as I have with all the others. So the roads will not be totally level. It will be a little bit rustic, a little bit bumpy. But we'll get it as smooth as we can. Put this onto a time lapse, and there we go. Right, I spent quite a bit of time spinning this around to try and get it in the position that I thought would require the least amount of landscaping. There's always going to be quite a bit step, big bit of a step down here. And so we'll try and smooth it out, we'll try and make a ramp up at the end there. And then we'll just try and smooth it out. All right, so we're back, just run out of seed. So we might as well get this back down to the, to the silo and go and fill it up, fill it up with uh, some fertilizer and seed. What I'll do is I'll take a little trip past the past the dairy and through the area that we've been working on with the spinnery just to see how bad it is at the moment. Still a bit of a step going down I think. Yeah, you can see there it's not undrivable. Yeah it's, it's pretty drivable but we'll still, go, we'll still have some, some work to be done there so that'll only get better but it'll never be a hundred percent flat and I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Right, let's just fill up with seed and fertilizer and we'll get back to the top field or big field or bottom field or whatever we want to call it and get a worker back onto the job and then finish off working on the spinnery. Right, that's all filled up, nice and easy. Not too much, not too expensive. Line and set off the worker. If you go, young man, do your thing, and we'll see you in a little while. Need to stay with him just for a little while, just to make sure he gets going. Good. All right. No problem. Okay. See you when you're finished. Okay. Worker. Let's just check out another worker. He's working okay. That's good. The field has already been done. And then we'll go and finish off working on the spinnery. So we have to take that lamppost out. And we've made the ramp. Let's get the ramp set in here just so that it's a bit of an easy drive if we're going straight out there. Right. Yeah, that's good enough. Right. So now we're going to smooth everything out again. I haven't put any shrubs in around this building yet, but we will do. We'll also uh, build the house for the for the spinner. Or what do you call a spinner? A person who works in a spinnery. I'm going to call him the spinner, the master spinner. You'll get a nice house at the back with a nice easy walking distance of the spinnery so that he can keep it going as, as productive as possible. Right, uh, it's looking a bit better. Let's get his house in. I think we'll put it at the back here. Not sure I want to put a log cabin up for him. Uh, he's a fairly senior member of the community. Put a brick house up for him. You'd be a little bit upset if the cheesemonger has a better house than him. Want something that is equally as nice. Make a bit of a grass area for him. Maybe put up a bit of a fence. 
So just smoothing it out a little bit. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. As I said, it's never going to be 100% smooth. I'll just join up the road, put the road straight through there. And as I said, we'll make a nice little grassy area for him and his family to be able to sit and relax. Bit of a picket fence. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to put it up to the top. Uh, about there is all right. Just so we can have the distinction of where the road is. All right, so that's that done. I'm just about finished with this field. I did take the job back from the from the worker as he had to get back to college for his evening session. And we'll just finish this off. Once that's done, we'll take this back to the to the yard by way of a little drive through the cheese shop again. Oh, well, no, we won't go through the cheese shop. We'll just cut through the back and um, go and see if the drive past the spinnery is any better. Right, let's just fold this up and that's that field done. Probably going to have to spray for weeds on both these fields in the next month. It's not a major problem. Right, so if we cut across here, hook up with the road and just see how it's looking and feeling driving past the spinnery. Right. Yeah, it's a bit of a dip down there that we might have to look at. It's yeah, it's it's not bad. It's, it's not super flat, but it's drivable. That's the most important thing. It's drivable. Right. Let's just get this into its easiest format for loading the bales up. I was going to drop off the the rollers but uh, I think I'll just use it as a counterweight and I think that's where we're going to end off this episode. We'll just load this up, get it off to the to the spinnery, get the spinnery going and then we'll see you in the next month. Hopefully we'll have some some fabric and we can start thinking about putting up the tailor shop as well. I think the tailor shop will just go next to the spinnery. But in the event, we'll get that sorted out. Well, thank you for watching. As usual, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next episode. Cheerio.